Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, in this series we're going to have a look at some of the basics of After Effects and how to work within it. Uh, and some ways that you can use this, these tutorials are, um, I mean remember it's a video so you can you know, do things like fast forward if I'm going through something you already know or you can rewind and watch again if there's something that you miss um, or of course you can pause me if you want to work on a particular aspect and then come back. Um, okay, so in this um, series of tutorials we're going to have a look at creating a title sequence. So let's have a look at what we'll be creating. Yes, Media Rocks. Um, okay, so there are some things in this title sequence that I wasn't overly happy with when I did it. It was very quick, but it's, it's I mean, you know, it turned out alright. Um, but let's see if we can make something even better. Alright, so we're going to go through um, uh, some of the basics of After Effects and how uh, it works. Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to have a look at uh, how to animate the text moving. Okay, so let's jump into After Effects. Um, now, if you haven't been in here before, let's just quickly go over the windows. Here is our composition window, that's where we'll see the video that we're working on. Over here is our um, project uh, bin, this is where we basically keep all the files that will we'll make our composition up. You also see that we've got effect controls, so any effects that we add will appear up here and we can modify them. Down here is the timeline, that's where you'll see the tracks as we create them, the video tracks, and this is our timeline sequence. Um, now very quickly on how to, you know, I guess the philosophy behind After Effects, it's for motion graphics, titling, special effects and those sorts of things. Don't use it as a video editor, use Adobe Premiere. Um, After Effects is really not very good for that, um, but it is awesome at doing special effects and motion graphics. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So up to composition, new composition. Now, because you'll be working in full HD, use the drop down menu, the presets, and you'll go down and choose this one HD TV 1080 25. So that's high definition television. 1080 means pixels high and 25 frames per second. Uh, because this is a tutorial and it, you know, sort of choose up. Um, space, I'll choose a different option, but this is the one that I want you to go for. So I'm just going to choose 720, which is half full high, high definition. Check the duration, give yourself some time, so I've got mine at 20 seconds there, and when you're ready just go OK. Alright, so we have a blank composition which we can start with. The first thing we're going to do is put in some text. So up here we have the text tool, so we'll click on it, and then just left click somewhere in your composition, and we'll start with media. Okay, now what I want to do is center this in the middle of my composition. I can, you know, move it around and kind of take a guess, but I can also go down here and see this sort of, you know, crosshairs. If I click on that, left click, and I go title action safe, there's a, I don't know if you can see it too well, but there's a cross there and that's dead center of my composition. So I'll choose my uh, selection tool, which is the arrow and I'll just move it and notice there's a diagonal cross in there that shows you the dead center of that layer so I'll put it right in the middle if this red comes up all it means is I've got caps lock on so I'll take that off okay so that's some text in the middle of my screen I'll turn the title action safe off again <coughs> okay now I might um, just a couple of things to check down here at paragraph I just want to make sure it's uh, centered. That's just like in Microsoft Word. Okay, you move it around. So go center and in the character window. And if you haven't got that, so it's, you know, um, then just go up to window and you can see all the different windows there and just choose character. Okay, that's my text size. So I might just bring it down a little bit. Okay, about there. Okay, 
All right, now let's have a look at animation and how that works. The basic way that uh, After Effects deals with animation is by putting in um, keyframes uh, to tell basically your layer where you want it to be at any given time. So let's do a very quick example. On the media layer down here in my timeline, I'll click on the arrow and I'll go down to transform. Now anything with a stopwatch, so all of these, means that aspect of this layer can be animated. Okay, so very quick example. I'll click on position. Then I'll go along a bit, my timeline, and I'll just move my layer somewhere else. Okay, if I go back to the start, you can see that it moves along. So, I mean, that's how basic, you know, animating aspects can be. That's just the position. You know, you can choose scale, so again, and you can see the keyframe there that it's created as soon as I click on the stopwatch. Go on two seconds and I'll scale it up really big. Okay, go back to the beginning, play it. Okay, so there we go. Um, now as well, you can add um, animation, so let's go rotation. And I'll go along and I'll just rotate it. Okay, and let's see what we've got. All right, so that's basically how keyframing works in After Effects. <laughs> now, in the original sequence that I had, I had the media fly in, um, from, you know, from the really large to then really small. So let's look at animating that. Down here, you got zoom in, zoom out, so I'll just zoom in a little bit closer. <clears throat> now the way that I deal with animation is that I'll go along to the point where I want um, the, audi the audience to see the layer, so I want them to see it there. So at half a second, I'll click on position. Actually, I forgot to show you one thing. Um, here, see this cube? It means make and the checkbox under it means make this layer 3D. So if I click on that, I don't know if you notice the difference there, but basically, have a look at position. We've got three numbers. The first one is horizontal. So if I scroll over that, it moves it to the right. If I move that second number, that's vertical. If I move the third number, it looks like it's zooming in and out, but what it's actually doing is moving it forwards and back as though there's an imaginary camera looking at it. Okay, so that's the three-dimensional number. If I click off the box again, you'll see that we've only got two numbers. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to put my title back in the middle. I might actually make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at animating this. I've gone along half a second. So that's where I want it to be at half a second. So I'll click on the stopwatch for position. Then I'll go back to the beginning. And it's the third number that I want to... I'm going into the minus numbers, so I'm just going to keep you know, dragging it across until it's totally out of view. Okay, so then we have this. Okay, good. Now I want it to hold there for a little bit before it disappears. So what I want to do is go along, say a second, it doesn't need a whole lot of time. And I'm not going to move these three numbers this time. I'm going to click this diamond. And you can see it says add or remove keyframe at current time. So if I click on that, it basically tells After Effects that between this keyframe and this one, I don't want anything to happen. Okay, so it's just going to stay stationary there. But then I'll move along, and then I'll go into the positive numbers on the Z. So I'm just moving it backwards in Z space. Okay, I want it to be really quite small. Okay, now I actually want the media to, to disappear, to go invisible. So I need to animate another aspect. And down the bottom we have opacity. That means how visible the layer is. So if I go to 
just you know when it's about to zoom backwards and I'll click on the stopwatch so 100% all the way up to here it'll be 100% visible and I'll go along to the end and I'll just turn it to zero so what that does is it'll fade out as it zooms out okay which is exactly what I want okay so that's the basic animation for that let's have a look again I'll turn off the title action safe okay so pretty good I think this zooming in could be a bit quicker though so I'll just go down again to transform to um, change the speed of things all I need to do is move around my keyframes so I want this part to go quicker so I'll grab the second keyframe and just move it closer in let's have a look at that and that works better for me okay now the last thing that I want to do I'm going to go to here halfway through the zoom and just to add a bit of life to it um, see this button here it looks like a, a bouncing basketball I'm going to click on that and then you can see the basketball again I'm going to click on that for my layer and just have a look at what happens with the title okay so what that actually does is add motion blur okay so again all right and it just kind of helps bring things to life a bit bit more okay so that's pretty well all I want to do with that title animation okay now we want to add the different layers um, for your different titles so I'll grab that first layer and I'll go up to edit duplicate so now I've got two layers of that media now I don't want the second one to appear until my first one is you know, fading out and getting smaller so all I need to do for that is literally grab the track the second one and move it along okay it doesn't have to be exactly spot on with the keyframes it'll still work um, now I'll just I obviously need to change this second text to rocks so I'll just double click on the layer and I'll type rocks okay so now let's have a look at what we've got Okay, good. Um, and basically, by duplicating that layer, it just means we don't have to do all of the animating again. Okay, we've copied it. So I'm going to do that again. Click on rocks. I'll go edit, duplicate. And then I've got another layer. Again, I'll just toggle down both layers, rocks and the second one. And again, just move it across. Okay, double click on the layer to rename it. And that's going to be, oh, I have to go along a bit, and that's my, okay, so, alright, we need to do that one more time for world, so click on the layer title, edit, duplicate, again, toggle down, drag it across. Okay, and we just need to change that last title to World. Okay, so let's do a quick preview of what we've got. back in full speed okay now in the original example I had world coming toward the camera um, so let's have a look at how we'll do that so we'll go down world and transform <coughs> and we can see our keyframes there now this first keyframe I know is you know, 
really close to the camera. So I'm literally going to left click and control C for copy and I'll take it to uh, I'll click on that one and delete it and I'll just go paste control V. Okay, so you can see all I've done is I've moved it from there to there. I'll just delete that last one. And I'll delete the first one. So I've got it going. Let's just have a look. Okay, so it's coming in towards the camera. And past it. So basically just reversing the keyframes. But here, that first keyframe, I might just move the position further back so it's it's coming in. Okay, I might also animate the opacity of that layer. Okay, so let's click on it's at a hundred percent there, so I'll just click on the empty keyframe and move back and just turn it down to zero. Let's see if that works. Okay, not too bad. We might have to play around with that as we go. Now, I also had it sort of turning on an angle, so let's do that. Okay, so here um, it'll be the Z rotation, okay, that we want to animate this layer. So I'll click on the stopwatch, which means, you know, leave it like that and then I'll go along to somewhere where I can still see it. So let's just go there and I'll just rotate it. So I'm just, just left and dragging. Okay, now we want it to be on that angle at the very end, so all I need to do is drag that keyframe along. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, look like something funny happened there. Yeah, I want it to kind of really rotate the whole time, so I'll just turn this rotation, the start of the, sorry, the Z rotation, this keyframe, and take it back. Just so it's always kind of constantly turning. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that is part one. So just think through what we've done already. We've created our text layers and we might actually, you can just drag and reorder these. So I might put them into the order, you know, just so we can see it. Media rocks my world. Turn it into a 3D layer. Um, we've worked out how to keyframe the animation here and duplicate that layer and offset them. Okay, so you can see it. Media rocks my world world. Okay, if you got this far, you are doing very well. Um, in the next part, we're going to have a look at just making that um, the text look a bit better, uh, and we'll look at creating a background for our composition.